do this. We're going to the North Jetty uh, down in Florence, right? Yep. Woohoo! Beautiful day. 75 degrees at the beach. Look at this, all the way up and down the coast, there's nothing but low fog. It's thick, it's low to the ground, there's a few people walking around. I'm all set up here, ready to go. You can barely make out the North Jetty directly south of us. You will see this jetty from the air later on in this video. Well, I've flown in fog before, so this isn't going to stop me. I waited for an hour or so, and it was already beginning to clear up, and I figured it would lift a little more after I did some cloud surfing, and landing wouldn't be a problem. Well, that was not to be, and I soon found myself above the fog, running out of time and options. In this flight, you will see me quickly get into a situation that most pilots dread. A VFR flight that quickly turns IFR and stays that way. I do have a Bombay camera hooked up for this flight, so you get the added benefit of a downward looking view. I can switch to this camera in flight with my camera switcher to look directly below me. I take off without the goggles and fly line of sight for a little bit and it is soon clear to me that I will either have to fly around low and close line of sight or I will have to soar up through the fog and fly FPV. Nobody likes to fly in cold jury fog so I decided to head up through the mist to get back to that nice warm weather again. Now keep in mind before taking off I can see blue clearly above me when I look straight up so it was apparent the fog wasn't very thick. I will never take off in fog unless I can see blue above me. If I can see only white above, then there is no telling how thick the fog is and it's too dangerous to fly. My lens has become covered in water droplets very quickly on the ride up, so I am keeping the camera pointed at the sun for a moment to help dry it off quicker. And that's better. Now let's gently swing around and see what we can see. Now I am headed back due east towards land. As I fly further along you can see how the fog is only over the ocean and the beach while further inland it clears up completely. Just my freaking luck, right? I'm heading back towards myself, and right here I am panning over and trying to get a glimpse of my ground position, but I cannot see a damn thing. Keep in mind during this flight that you are watching the GoPro recorded view, which is much better than the live view I am actually watching through my Fat Shark video goggles. So there is not only less resolution in the picture, but there is also the typical interference going on. Below me you can see the waves breaking. I switched to this camera in flight with my camera switcher, but again, I can't make out enough detail to see where I am. So I have to rely on what my on-screen display tells me for navigating. And right now I am beginning to wonder if I have bitten off more than I can chew. And there's Grumpy Cat. He's looking terrified as ever. Now Grumpy Cat has been in this situation many times before he became a pilot. As a kitten he used to climb up trees and then found himself unable to get back down. He is undoubtedly reliving flashbacks from those experiences now. Off to the east you can see inland where there is no fog at all. It just simply clears up completely in that direction. At this point in the flight I am slightly concerned but I'm not worried. I have been above the fog before so I know I can handle getting the Skywalker back down. I am already coming up with a plan. I will simply fly out a ways inland, turn around, then head back underneath the fog and land. No problem, right? However, 
I know that once I get down to fog level and below, my flight camera lens will be saturated with water vapor again, and it will be impossible to land safely. So right here, I bring the nose back up again to think of another plan. As I look off to the south, I am seriously contemplating running to the car and driving to the clear area inland to land my plane. I can hear people walking around me. They are yelling and shouting and having a fun time on the beach, regardless of the fog. I know it is going to be a challenge to get this plane back down safely. Wow, a sea of white covering a sea of blue. It is getting pretty lonely up here. I am watching my flight pack voltage drop slowly. I know that as a last resort I can always hit the return to launch switch and then wait until I'm directly overhead and then maybe cut power, letting my Skywalker slowly lose altitude until I can spot her line of sight. But that just seems messy. That's not how real airplanes do it. I need to come in through the fog with a simulated ILS approach, just like a real plane. Looking through the bomb bay camera, I can see I am crossing over the breaking waves below and headed out to sea. Below me you can make out the north jetty of Harbor Vista. There is an identical one further to my port side hidden in the fog. They both reach out in the ocean, keeping the waves calm for incoming ships to guide them safely home. Up here, however, there are no such safety nets. Turning back east towards the coastline, you can see the details of the coast through the GoPro, but in my goggles, I can't make out any of this. If I had a live GoPro view in full HD, it would be much easier to bring her in. Normally fog doesn't worry me. If there is at least a hundred feet or so of space between the earth and the clouds, I know I can get underneath the low layers and get a visual on my plane. Today the fog is especially low, hugging the ground tightly. I peek out for my fat sharks now and then, hoping the fog will clear. But all around me, all I can see is it's just getting thicker. Turning west again towards my position, I am hoping I can catch some glimpse of my landing area along the beach. However, the idea of approaching blind, over land, and possible people worries me. I don't mind if my Skywalker hits a tall dune on the way in, but there may be a person walking along that dune's crest, and there's no way I can take a chance like that. I can still hear people milling around on the beautiful Florence sand. They are having lots of fun. I know they're watching me. Many know I have a plane up there somewhere. I wonder if they realize how grave my situation is becoming. Okay, right here, I know I'm directly above myself because of what I'm seeing on my OSD. So I've pulled off my goggles and I'm staring up through the whiteness to try to catch a glimpse of my Skywalker. I know she's up there somewhere, but I see nothing. As I point the plane back inland, you can clearly see wave breakings at the lower part of the screen. I can also see this in my goggles, although less clearly. Again, I know I can try to shoot an approach, but when the water coats my lens, I'll be blind and I am certain an FPV landing is impossible. I have to get this thing down low over my head and land at line of sight. There's just no other way. Right here, I just hit auto circle mode. My FY31 AP is holding the aircraft about 120 meters above me and is circling by itself. I have pulled off my goggles again, straining to get a glimpse of my white plane through the white fog. Again, no joy. I have decided there is only one option left. I must fly my plane out towards the ocean a kilometer or so then dive down through the fog blind, watching my altitude drop until I know I'm just above the surface of the ocean. 
At that point, I can hit return to launch. I will have to trust my autopilot completely on this approach. There are simply no other options. So now I am pointing the Skywalker due west. I will fly out about a kilometer, then I will cut the power and nose the plane over into a steep dive to get down to about 30 meters, or about 100 feet above the ocean waves. Then I will hit return to launch and hopefully my plane will steer itself home. I am only watching through the front view camera, so this is basically what I am seeing except with less resolution. A kilometer out and now I am beginning my dive downwards into the fog. My altimeter has always been 100% accurate and my eyes are glued to it as I descend 100 meters down through the fog. I am praying that today it will be completely accurate, because this is a little unnerving. I can see the sun reflecting off the waves below me, but I don't realize I am banking slightly to the left as I descend. This carries me off course to the south a little bit further than I had anticipated. Right here I hit RTL, and my Skywalker's onboard systems take over. Now it is up to the plane to find its way back over the cold ocean. My heart rate is definitely up right now. I'm watching my OSD display on the way in. This is final approach. I can see my altitude, my course, my distance from home. As I watch my distance close in from 800 meters, 700 meters, 600, 500, I notice my aircraft has climbed by itself from an initial 30 meters above the ground to 50. My plane is clawing its way back up through the fog as if it is also terrified of crashing. In retrospect, I think what really happened is my autopilot is set to stay at 50 meters altitude no matter what, and this is probably causing the climb back up to 50. As I head directly back to home, I can see the jetty in the foreground, but I don't realize it is the jetty because my goggle view has much less resolution. I honestly don't know what it is. I think it's some rocks or something way out over the ocean that I hadn't noticed before. As the flight proceeds, you might notice that my path above the ground is north-northeast along the coast instead of directly east as I had planned. Now this is because a slight breeze had carried my plane further south of my position without me realizing it. My autopilot realizes it, however, and it is dutifully carrying my Skywalker back home. As my distance from home ticks down through 400, then 300, then 200 meters, I take off my goggles and wait for it to appear. Now right here I catch a glimpse of my plane as it enters auto circle mode by itself. Then to my astonishment and horror, it disappears again into the fog. I hit full throttle to zero in on the sound of my motor. I can hear it, but I can't see it anymore for a few seconds. There is something very unsettling about standing in the fog with FPV goggles off, hoping for your plane to emerge so you can land it. Still on autopilot right here. Okay, right here I have spotted it through the fog and I've taken control back from the autopilot. I can see the plane clearly now with my eyes and I glance up and down the beach to determine which spot of sand to set her down on away from people. I waste no time banking her around to line her up for a landing. I hope you enjoyed the flight, but if you liked it, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any more cool videos. And touchdown, and the only casualty on this flight luckily turns out to be one of my tires.